Okay, so as you can see in this example, this is kind of a continuation of what we created on our last one, is that we do have our circuit board still, but this time we're going to use ordinate dimensions, which makes things a lot cleaner than using baseline. Baseline took up a lot of places or space on our drawing. You can see with ordinate dimensions, it takes up a lot less space. One other benefit of using this kind of method compared or with our last one is that our table is relatively the exact same size or the exact same verbiage as the one we did in the last one. So let's go ahead and switch over to this and remember that we're going to use our last drawing that we had to continue from. Okay, so this is where we left off our last drawing at. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to switch to layout tab 2. And you can see our circuit board come up. One other thing that I want to do is I want to speed up what I'm going to do for this video. So instead of starting again and, and putting our title block and things around it, I'm going to go back to layout one. I'll do a right click of this one. And then I'll choose the move or copy option. Once our dialog box comes up and open, I'm going to create a copy of it. And now this says I want to move it before what? In this case, I want to move it before layout 2, so I can put it right in the middle of them. Go ahead and choose the word OK. And now you see I have a copy, well, one with a number 2 on it. Just so I don't confuse myself, I'll right click on the layout 1, the first one that I created. Choose Rename. And I'm going to name this one Example 1. On my layout 2, I'm going to right click and choose rename and go through and call it example 2. So now when I select example 2, I'll start erasing all of my baseline dimensions. And I'm just selecting these objects and hitting the delete button on my keyboard. One quick way of doing it is if you come way down here at the bottom of this one, one click here to the right of it and go right across and then select delete. It's going to select all of them because they share the same baseline. I will move this into a, another location. So make sure that you put a window around everything, your viewport and the text. And then just use the move option. And go ahead and place it where you want it. Okay, let's go ahead and double click on the inside of this. And now I need to set my ordinate dimensions up. Remember that if I tried to use ordinate dimensions right now, it's all based on where my UCS is located at. So I'll select the UCS, select the square, and place it at this end point. Double click to the outside. Now I can create my ordinate dimensions. The ordinate dimensions on the home tab are located here. Choose the word ordinate. Choose this endpoint. And this is when I want to make sure my ortho is turned on. I want to go out this direction. Now I'll switch to the annotate tab. Choose the word continue. Now choose the circle that has this A size. Go up to the B size one. And I'm getting these jogs in it just so it, it keeps my spacing. Go up to this A. To this one. Go to the B. This A. And then lastly, the top of my circuit board. Escape. Let's go back to ordinate dimension. I'll choose this endpoint, come downward. And it looks like, and this is one of those things that I'm glad that it kind of showed you. If you accidentally select that endpoint of your ordinate dimension, it's going to give you the real location of where that is in reference to your drawing. So let me go ahead and escape. Go back to ordinate. And make sure that I'm getting the endpoint here. 
One way you can do that is if you shift and right click and tell it to only look for endpoints. Now when I select this line, it's going to give me that endpoint. Choose continue. And I'm going to choose my next dimension, which is here. I'm just going to follow these over. And I'm selecting the endpoints of my center marks. So I like to put all my center marks in paper in model space and all of my dimensions will be in paper space. Okay. Let's go ahead and do our last ordinate dimensions. So I'll choose ordinate. Choose this dimension. I'm going to drag to the right. Choose the word continue. Now I can create all of my ordinate dimensions the way I like them. And escape. Okay, so all of our drawing for this one is done relatively quick. All we was able to do was take our viewport and copy it, or our drawing actually, and copy it and make an example too. The table is exactly the same for this one. All we had to do was readjust our dimensions to ordinate. So I want to thank you for watching this one. I know this one was relatively quick compared to some of our other ones, but thank you for watching.